this is the first time it's like ever happened. The kids like slept in, and we never set alarms because the kids always get up. And so I'm. Uh, it's twenty to nine. I actually missed a session with a coaching client. So great start to the week. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is uh, nearly five o'clock on Tuesday. It's been a really cool day, interesting day. Uh, we launched a mastermind with Eli, me, Marco, and Eli for the bushfires in Perth. We were planning on doing it anyway, so we figured we might as well just, you know, charge some money for it and then donate that to charity, which is cool. And we had like a hundred people sign up for it in the first 24 hours, which is really cool. Um, Obviously, people are wanting to give back, and then people obviously want the information as well, which is awesome. So I'm all about it, and it's been really, really good. It's been been crazy, actually. I've been selling a lot of that over DM. We also released that call, that textbook NEPQ call, which I'll put a link for down below. Um, and with that, like I think we sold like 60 or 70 of those. It's 147 bucks for people to see exactly how I sell in a real life sales environment, which has been pretty cool. And people seem to have really taken to that. Um, so yeah, it's been really exciting. We've done something like 200 and something sales over the last like week, um, which has been super, super exciting and very cool. And just gonna show us that the hard work that we've been putting in over the last little while has actually paid off. Uh, so it's the morning and I have an early start because I have some meetings that I have to go to. It's one of those, um, it's like late night. So I got home, not super late, like probably 8.30, something like that but the kids had already gone to sleep and then left the house before they get up. I hate doing that. It's like one of the things that I really try and avoid as much as I can because then like I go, you know, like a whole 36 hours without seeing the kids, which is kind of shitty. But I guess it kind of has to be done every now and then. Um, but yeah, so I got some meetings for seventh level now and then um, we have some live trainings in some groups. Live trainings in our group, The Closing Code. And then just got to finish up our presentation for the for the masterclass that we're doing on the weekend. So all pretty exciting stuff, really. Yeah, long hours this week. Very long hours. So it's the 13th, but we're selling and celebrating Valentine's Day today because we kind of forgot to book stuff. And so... Uh, we were able to have some time, like with the kids, we were at the grandparents' house today. So we went and bought uh, Sammy's together, because I don't really know what she wanted, but you know, she likes a lot of things, so I just kind of went and got her stuff, but now she's gonna give me my present. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, take me home, <laughs> country road. <laughs> So we have, oh, that's nice. Because <laughs> you love your coffee. I do. And then and we hers. have this. Oh, this is very nice. A jaqueta. Perfect, in my favorite color. Yeah. For clothing. I saw it there. They said, this has just arrived and we've almost sold out. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> is that a win? <laughs> I wonder what it could be. I just don't know. Je suis now. Oh, lovely. Ooh, lovely. Lovely. It's very nice. Oh. YSL. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here. It's actually getting pretty late. It's like 7 o'clock. I think I'll be in the office until about 10 o'clock tonight because I am preparing for the mastermind that we're doing, um, which by the time this airs, it would have been over, but I've never done anything like this before. Um, so Eli Wilde's helping me uh, and, and Marco, and we're kind of working together to ensure that, uh, yeah, we get kind of the best result. So yeah, I've never done anything like it before. So it's taken me a very long time to kind of formulate exactly how I'm going to do it because it's all new to me. Um, I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one selling guy, so selling one to many. It's very interesting, and it's like also like how do I teach and sell at the same time? Like I'm I'm good at teaching and I'm good at selling, but selling and teaching at the same time is just a it's just a different skill set. And so like putting in 
some of the frames and the analogies will become and the loops um, and the buy-ins and all that kind of stuff into that framework of like teaching because what I tend to do is just teach a lot and then I don't pitch if I am trying to sort of sell something so it's very interesting for me to be on the other side of when I hear someone like Eli um, do it as he was doing some coaching with me about it like it was it's sort of like when people tell me them listening to me handle objections or sell someone 101 it seems so effortless and it seems so quick and it's there's so many things happening at once and it's so fast and I was like, oh, that's that must be what it's, what it's like. Because when I when I heard him kind of explaining things to me, I was just blown away with the speed at which he could do it. Because that stage shelling is what he's, you know, what he's amazing at. I'm really enjoying the process, like learning stuff. So I always really enjoy education. But um, yeah, we'll probably put in clips from the mastermind in this. So hopefully I don't finish too late. But you know, it doesn't get dark here until like nine. So if you see another video in this and it's dark outside when I'm doing it you know that it took me a little bit longer than expected. Just in the office, uh, in, the, in the shared office that I'm in, and we're about 20 minutes away from the masterclass, and there's like 400 people coming. So I'm pretty excited. I think it's like 350, 400, something like that. It's gonna be a crazy day. Um, we're gonna pitch off the back end, which we've never done before, so I have no idea how it's gonna work out. It could be amazing. Um, the whole point of the masterclass was we were, we were going to do it anyway because we wanted to talk about hooks and frames and do that kind of stuff. And then I was like, well, maybe we could pitch something off the back end. And then I decided to donate the front end to charity, uh, which is cool. So we got like, I think it's like 11,000 for charity, which is going to be donated to a rural fire service house, like direct to the house so they can get more equipment. And then off the back end, we're pitching like a 3K program. Um, so, you know, never know, might get 10 might get a hundred got no idea that's the way it goes with those things so we got eli wild pitching up the back end so be super interesting day i'm really excited about it the course is amazing we wrote it up it's very different to anything that's out there so yeah i'll let you know how we go and over that six weeks that's what i hope to teach people and i hope that like as soon as you realize that just because it's not your fault doesn't mean it's not your problem and if it's your problem it's a very 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 fulfilling and rewarding mindset to have because if it's a problem then you can fix it and the moment we make a problem bigger than ourselves we don't even try the overweight person who blames genetics the business owner that blames the economy these are you know the salesperson that blames elites these are symptoms of a greater problem this is what people need to learn and this is what our prospects need to get into their head and us as salespeople need to know, not just know it, we need to fucking know it. That like we can solve our problems. And we have to be the ones fucking getting after it and leading from the front so that we as people, as salespeople can go through life knowing that like we've navigated the road before. So all we have to do is grab them by the scruff of the neck and fucking push them far enough to when they figure it out and then we can just start walking with them. And over the next six weeks, that's what I want to teach. And by the end of it, I want you to come to me and go, I've lost weight. I've got a better relationship. I'm making more sales. I've got more money. And I did it all because I decided to do everything that I need to do to get my goals. And just realize that like, there is no fucking good time. Who knows how much longer coronavirus is going to last for? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. It's not going to affect my business. I'll tell you that right now. Because I managed to 35X my business in 2020. And I plan on 35 xing it in 2021 through sheer force of will. God help you. You're either on the train or in front of it. So just heading back from Costco, which was an event. I believe it's an accurate way to say it. Kids were, uh, they were interesting. Today was crazy. We had 340 people buy tickets to the Mastermind that we did with Eli and Marco. And then we had, I think it was like, I think we had 300, or maybe 280 shop or something like that, which is great. Cause obviously people can't make it, but they want to get the replay. And then from there, um, we had like, I think by the time we'd sort of gotten to halfway through hour three so then two and a half, two and a half hours we still had like 90 percent of people there which is great and then even like 
an hour after we're supposed to finish, we still had like 150 people there. And then even all the way, we ended up going for five hours, which is kind of crazy. And people were role playing and Marco sold the guy live, um, which I've never seen anyone do before. So he actually just came up and said, hey, listen, we're gonna pitch a program at the end. It's gonna be $3,000. Um, who's got some objections? And one guy put his hand up and he was like, all right, let's do this. And he sold him into the program live, which is cool. Cause I haven't seen people get the balls to do that. A lot of sales trainers will say they're good at sales, but I've never seen them release sales calls and I've never seen them actually sell people live and role play live. Usually they don't want to do that because um, they're afraid of being caught out, I guess. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was really, really cool. I think we sold like 30, people are still buying, so I think we've done like four more since we finished. I think like 37 of those Congruency Academies, which is the six weeks academy that we're doing, um, which was like three grand US, which is great. So we pretty much did it so we could pay for the office fit out, which is pretty cool. We managed to do that. Um, but yeah. It's been a crazy weekend so far. I'm very, very tired. I had to have a little nappy nap. Your wife was amazing and looked after the kids from she six was. till one while you worked on a Sunday on Valentine's Day. She did, and I did. So I think it was worth it though. Definitely. Yeah. How are your stickers, Jackie?